Hey, I'm Dave Campfield, and I am standing outside the primary location that we filmed at. About 70% of the film was shot right here inside this house. We used a different exterior, but virtually every room in this house was filmed in and then refilmed in, which is in fact my parents' house. Shot over a course of about 18 days over the span of a year, which meant they wanted to kill me. But somehow I managed to talk them into it. There were nails in the dining room. There was paper stuck on some of the walls in the bedroom. This right here, this driveway, is where we shot the vast majority of all the surveillance and hand stuff. Van was parked here with all the wires leading directly into that garage. This garage also being Rick's garage, my character's garage, which is where we planned out the surveillance operation. You follow me into the foyer. Now this door does not match the door from the outside of that house we shot at, so we had a fake door right here with my friend John Lascauza sitting on the floor holding it up. Here, this is the living room, which was also turned into Heidi's room. We just put some uh, wallpaper up here. We had some dangling beads. You walk through here, and these, you got Heidi's kitchen from this perspective. But if you look at it from this perspective, this is also Kurt's kitchen. Well, they sat right here, and now if you come through the den, this is the location of where the two cops come in. And now this is the basement, which is the surveillance room. But we had to put up a couple of uh, fake walls right here. Now this same little area, when shot from this perspective, becomes the same area where Kurt killed Now right inside this room is the same. Ow! Oh my God, you're right? I'm good. You're right, okay. So this is uh, Kurt's basement which is where he's working out. He looks over to that wall over there and he says, that's where I keep my files. The problem is there's no door here. So what can we do? Now we go inside the boiler room. This is the wall that he points to. We're inside, which leads us directly into the surveillance room itself. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, it says, that, it says that now. So now we have the uh, living room. This is where we shot uh, some insert shots where we were in my dorm. Of course, we got the uh, main bedroom of the house, which is where the first scene takes place with the looters break in. Over here, we got the computer room, and we got a couple of scenes inside here. Right over here, another bedroom, Robert Kroll's room mainly, but we put some contact paper up on the wall. And this is also the same room that takes place when the cults kill Please help. their victim in the first scene. Now this bathroom right here, it's Robert Kroll's bathroom, because that room doesn't actually have a bathroom. A number of times, I don't know how many times you said it. Quiet on the set! <laughs> we all had to be quiet. <laughs> then we got uh, my brother's room, which was Justin's mother's room, with my brother doubling for Justin's mother. And then we got uh, my room right here, which is not only the room that Justin leaves from in the beginning of the film, but it's also the room that he returns to when he comes and moves into his father. And finally, the shed where Justin awakes after getting knocked out from the cultists. So there's a filmmaker that I really like who says that art thrives off of limitations and that's something that I agree with and I hope that this film is a reflection of that. So what was it like to have your home invaded? <laughs> it was fun, especially the first night when we cooked a meatball dinner at 12 o'clock, 1 a.m. I didn't find it as a, an inconvenience because I know this is something you wanted to do. And fortunately, I had the time to do it. Being retired, 